In this video, I'll be reviewing the ultimate dad shoe, the Nike Air Monarch. And I'm gonna let you know whether you should cop it or drop it. You know what time it is? It's time to drop my shit! <laughs> boy sauce kage here and here on cop or drop i review popular or trending clothing and let you know whether it's worth copping or dropping so if you like all things streetwear and you're looking for some saucy style tips make sure you guys subscribe so you guys don't miss out on any fresh ass new videos so if you're new here welcome and if you want a quick rundown of what's going on i'll be reviewing the nike air monarch on the five most important aspects that is important to your purchasing decision and these these are quality of materials used, the price of the item, how the product fits, and how durable the product is. And at the end, I'll combine all the numbers and give it a sauce score. And I'll let you know whether the shoe is worth copping or dropping. So let's begin with quality. The shoe is made with leather and synthetic leather on top and has a sweet ass rubber sole for traction. Since buying them and being able to take a closer look at them, the material on the shoe looks and feels high quality. So so I'm gonna give the quality of the shoe a five out of five, boys. Moving on to price. The Nike Air Monarch goes for $90 and competes with the Fila Disruptor and the New Balance 624. The Fila Disruptor goes for $90 also and the New Balance 624 goes for $100. So most dad shoes goes around $90 to $100. But I would recommend the Nike Air Monarch as it will flow with all your Nike outfits, boy. So I'm gonna give price a five. Yeah. Out of five, boys. Moving on to style. The style of the shoe actually looks pretty sleek, boys. With its mixed look of gym trainers and your dad's jogging shoe. The Nike Air Monarchs is also a fan favorite for ugly fashion lovers, boys. As dad shoes is their finishing touch for their fits. But honestly, I really like that ugly dad shoes look as it makes the shoe look fire as hell, boys. So I'm gonna give style a five out of five. Moving on to the fit. The shoe fits wide giving you that roomier feel and since the shoe is larger than your average sneaker it will give off that clunky feel when you walk however after wearing it for a while i have to say that these shoes are extremely comfortable boys due to its amazing support structure so i'm gonna give the fit a five out of five moving on to durability honestly the shoe is extremely durable as the shoe is able to take a lot of scuffs and for sure will last a decade boys and wearing these shoes just for a Reminds me when my dad used to beat me if I got bees in class, boys! A for Asian. Even if World War III breaks out and nukes destroy the whole world, the only thing that would survive are these shoes and Nokia phones, boys! So since I can't give durability a six, I'll have to give it a five out of five, boys! And that's it, it's time to gather up all the points! <laughs> The Nike Air Monarch gets a 100% rating and puts in the extreme heat. <laughs> Which means it's worth copping, boys. The Nike Air Monarch is the best in the market, boys. With its saucy style, extreme durability, and how popular the shoe is now and will be in the future. And you'll have them until you're a dad also, boys. So I want to hear from you guys. Are you going to cop the sneaker? Comment below. Let me know. And if you found this video useful, make sure you give this video a like. Subscribe and turn on the notification bell so you guys don't miss out on any fresh ass new videos. It's your boy Sas Kage, and I just made a review on the Nike Air Force Ones that you can click right over here to watch. Or well, for more style tips, click down over here. Click my saucy ass icon to join the Sauce Clan, boys. Sas Kage, peace. Wait, wait, wait! Don't do it. Ah!